Trying to hear with another video, and um, today, you know, I just wanted to uh, basically talk about um, how to not be a jetpacker. <laughs> a lot of people um, call other people jetpackers because they're good at the, you know, jetpack video, jetpack call duties, and everything, and they think they're not going to be good at the uh, boots on ground. And um, you know, it's not really hard to transition. Um, and for me, some people it takes a couple days, a couple weeks, you know, some people it takes longer. For me, it takes me a couple minutes to transition, you know. I can go back and forth from um, boots on ground to jetpacks all day long, you know. But that's just me personally. And the reason I can do that is because the way I, um, I play. See... All Call of Duty has movement. Even if it's a boots on ground, it still has a movement system, and it still moves a certain way. But this one's very laggy. Um, but it still moves a certain way. So, no matter what, you just you just have to use your movement. People call people jetpackers because they're better with the movement. If you can be better with the movement on boots on ground as well, then you'll do fine. And uh, you just gotta understand the timing of the game, understand how fast you need to be going, how slow you need to be going, and just uh, understand the movement of the game. Right now I keep getting shot in the back, because um, I haven't played Domination in forever. But, um, I'm gonna start picking it up, because this is not looking good. But what's it called? Um, what my th Wow, I gotta double kill that. What I do to uh, kind of get used to the game is I run around the map, and um i kill things you know i just shoot i play pubs and stuff like that this is probably the worst game for pubs though because it's just pubs are trash in this game um so i just run around in pubs and you know kill things but i try i don't touch the uh, jump button at all i don't i don't jump at all even if it's just a normal jump like that i don't i don't do it you know i i don't touch that um x button so that i get used to the fact that I'm not able to jump in the air. And then when I start actually playing, I don't, you accidentally try to jetpack in the air by double jumping and everything like that. And I just, I don't even think about it. See, I just run around and I shoot things. And um, this game's a lot of pre aiming. Gotta pre aim a lot to win the gunfights. All those together. Gotta pre aim a lot to win those gunfights. But, you know, you just, you just run around, kill things, you know, shoot people. Just don't jump. Just don't don't even hit that X button. Don't even like think about hitting that X button. Just run around, stay on the ground. Don't move. Don't jump. You know, just because then then it'll get in your head that you can't jump. If you think you can't jump, you won't jump. And then you start to translate a transition into being able to just jump once around corners. Basically, this game I only like boots on ground. You really only jump when you're in a gunfight and somebody's like on the floor if they're prone. You jump to mess them up or if they're pre-aiming you you jump to mess them up um or you jump around corners to you know pre-check something like that you know you know that's really the only times you're going to be jumping in a uh, boots on ground kind of game see how he jumped around the corner there it's a great uh great example holy crap there's so many people here so many people holy crap sorry about that so, um, that's really all I do to get used to, um, a boots on ground game. And that's why it only takes me a couple minutes to really get used to a boots on ground game. And then also same with a, uh, jetpack game. I try to use the movement and get used to the movement. Cause one, cause all Call of Duty have movement. Um, anybody who says boots on ground, um, uh, doesn't take any movement is completely lying to you. All Call of Duties have movement and, uh, and it's a certain type of movement. Boots on ground and jetpack games are completely different movements. But it all takes movement. Um, if you don't know how to move around the map, if you don't know how long it's going to take you to move around the map, um, then you know you're not going to do as well as somebody who does know that stuff. Holy crap! Um, so yeah, that that's really it. It's very easy once you just run around shooting people. You know, you don't don't jump in the air you know, unless you have to climb things like this. You know, then you do it. But you kind of just get used to the fact that you can't jump, and then when it comes to the fact that you need the jump, you only jump once. You know, I didn't really need to jump there, but I wanted to show you that I only jump once. You know, like, if I wanted to jump that corner, or if I wanted to jump this corner, 
to try to get that guy off the head glitch or something. You know, you kind of kind of get used to the fact that you can't jump. So when you actually try to jump, it's only that one time delay. It's not a double jump like you're trying to jetpack like that right there where you try to jetpack, you know. You kind of get used to the fact that you're not not going to jump. And that's that's really it. Like just run around shooting people and get used to the fact that you're not going to jump, you know. And even in even when I play the game competitively and I try to uh, like I'm actually like playing competitive I barely jump the only time I jump is if I need to jump to win the gunfight you know that's really the only time I jump and that's very rare that it you know you need to jump a lot of time you have them pre-aimed and a lot of time you win the gunfight but those little bit of times that you do need to jump you kind of get used to the fact that you didn't need to jump so when you do try to jump or you you panic and try to boost away you're only jumping once because you're used to not jumping. I don't know really how it works, but it's always worked for me. Just running around, shooting people, not jumping in the air. It kind of gets you used to uh, the boots on ground whole thing, you know. Um, I don't know really how it works or why it works, but it's worked really well for me. Um, and it helps me transition within a couple minutes. I, I barely need any practice on um, boots on ground to get used to it. The only thing I do need is timing. Um, I have to get used to timing a little bit more. You know, but basically, the jumping helps a lot. You know, did he get that? Yeah, he got that kill. So, this game, I think this game goes to 200, so. As you can see, I'll do, I'll keep doing the practicing, you know, a boots on ground. I'll just keep practicing it, and I'll, uh, you'll be able to see what I mean um, throughout, this, throughout this whole game. I'm going to try to get a knife kill. And, and one thing about um, the difference between boots on ground games and, you know, jetpacks games is always be on a head glitch. You know, if, if there's a head glitch possibility you can get into, get into it um, and the, on boots on ground. On, a, on jetpacks, yes, they can jump above you and they can, you know, uh, you know get above you so that you, uh, you die and they can shoot you at a perfect angle that they need. In boots on ground, they can't jump that high. So, you know, head glitches are really, really really good on boots on ground games and that's one of my tips to play boots on ground uh just use head glitches use cover go move it's basically like like here i could stand here and shoot but it'd be better if i stood here and shot because i have most cover you know i have them pre-aimed like that and i have the most cover that i possibly can you know and even this right here you know if i just sit here like this this guy's going to climb up. And where the hell is he? Guess he's not going to climb up. But see right there, I didn't have any cover. If I had cover, I probably would have won that gunfight. And when you start getting used to the uh, boots on ground, you can start jumping in the air. Um, you know, jumping around corners. That's really all the time you need is jumping around corners. Or when somebody's like prone around this corner, you jump and, you know. But like, you re really jump shotting. Um... Jump shotting and drop shotting are really only for times that the enemy has first bullet or the enemy has the jump on you and they're they're gonna kill you. So you need to make them miss a bullet or so by jumping in the air. You know, a lot of the time if you have first bullet or if you're pre-aiming them, you don't need to jump shot at all. Most people that I know, like that was a perfect jump shot by him, jumping on that corner. Unfortunately, I already had the the um sight on him. But Oh, damn. But really, a lot of people jump shot a little too much, and there's really no need for jump shotting when they do. So they kind of, I like, don't even need to jump shot. Like, they ruin their their jump shot, you know? Because um, really, if you just pre-aim, and boots and ground games, if you really just, like, pre-aim and stay behind cover and, you know, hit those head glitches and stuff like that, then nine out of ten times you're gonna win. See, see right here. I could have just sat, sat here like this, but instead I went crouch. Again, I went crouch, so I have the most cover I possibly can, and I stayed over here as much as I can. You know, a lot of people. But it's a pub. You know, a lot of people just run out in the middle. You know, even even I do. It's a pub. You know, I just run around and shoot people and stuff. But in a competitive set, uh, stage, I would always try to hit the, that cover. You know, cover is the is your best friend in boots on ground games. See how I jumped that corner? It allowed me to win that gunfight right there. 
And drop shotting as well. Drop shotting is really good in boots on ground games. Some ga some boots on ground games more than others. He just jump drop shotted. I love doing that. That's a that's another thing you can do. If you jump around this corner and drop shot. That's uh that's definitely helpful. So that's really what the jump the jump shot and drop shots are used for is when the enemy has a jump on you and you know you're going to lose that gunfight and there's no way out of it. The the only thing you could possibly do is jump and help yourself win that gunfight or trying to jump uh, around corners to uh, pre 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 aim or pre fire people. Um, I started off this pub absolutely shit and I've been going off. I don't know what happened, but. Oh, we spawned B. They're gone, eh? That's unfortunate. Let's go see them. See, I, I, you see a lot of people jump shot. Like, that right there was the perfect jump shot. When I had the pre-aim, I had the jump on him. You know, I jump shot it in the air. My teammate just saved me there. But I jump shot, or he jump shot it on me and almost beat me that. Like, right, 53 and 28. Holy crap. Um, so, you know, that's really how I get used to boots on ground uh, very quickly is just practice not jumping in the air. And then when you get used to it a little bit more, start jumping around corners and when you really need to, you know. Because in boots on ground, very rarely do you need to jump in the air. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, free, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Link in the description. And as always, guys, have a nice day, evening, or night. Wherever you guys live in the world. Meanwhile.